Some people throw a spoiler on their car, maybe a set of wheels, and try to finish it off with a set of graphics and call it a day. But not here at Steeda. We know that the most important parts are the ones that you can't see. Why? Because they're gonna make the biggest difference on your Mustang. It's why we call our 2018 Q500 a wolf in sheep's clothing. So back in late 2017, when Ford released the Gen 3 Coyote, we did what we always do, right? Went out and got a couple base models. Now, this one being the base model, manual transmission performance pack, and the 2018 Steeda Silver Bullet being an automatic base model drag car, we wanted to see what the differences were, right? We wanted to see what Ford changed going into that 2018 model year with the Gen 3. Now, all we basically wanted to do was see what the car's potential was stock and then mold it into the Steeda Q500 that it is today, which is following a lot of the same footsteps our number 20 car took. Now our plan was never to take it, gut it, and turn it into a race car, right? We believe a lot of the times we like to make cars that are absolutely relatable to you, the consumer. Something you can drive every day. Yet, if you want to go out onto the road course, maybe do some high performance driving events like this car has done, still be very competitive. Yet, when you drive it on the street or take it home for the weekend, it's not going to jar you. It's going to ride super smooth, and it's not until you get on that loud pedal and throw it into a turn that you're really going to notice that you've made a tremendous difference in what this car originally came with. Now in the interior, it's really quite simple. Steeda Race Triax shifter, heel toe pedal kit, and a comfortable steering wheel so you feel inspired out on the track. But stock seats, it still even has a stock rear seats in it. No roll cage, no nothing. All the good stuff is happening underneath the car and under that hood. All right, as we move under the hood, as you can see, it seems pretty basic, right? Just like the interior, once again, relatable. Steeda strut tower brace, once again, trying to prevent those strut towers from flexing as you're out there on the road course or even just driving around town. Then our tried and true Steeda closed lid cold air kit. Because if you remember, we developed it on the drag car originally, right? We wanted to try to get those air intake temps lower than what we were typically seeing with an open air cold air kit. Now, we could have kept the factory closed lid, but we wanted to move more air into the motor. So we wanted to make the mass air meter bigger, but not get all the heat soak that you're gonna get with an open air element filter. So we went with the closed lid, largest mass air meter on the market, with a true ram air coming through the front snorkel. And once again, it proved keeping the air intake temps down not only creates more horsepower, but at speed, now this isn't going down the track for 10 seconds. This is going out, running two minute and 20 second lap times at Sebring. You want all that air being forced down the throat of this intake because you're gonna make more power. And as we all see with the brand new 2024s and the Gen 4 Coyote, they've got dual throttle bodies for a reason. Anytime you can get more air in and out of this motor, it's gonna make more horsepower. Now to help get air out, we leaned on our friends at Cook's. Got a set of Cook's long tube headers. Right now it's got the cats on it. When it goes to the track, we pull the cats off, but just simple modifications to try to get more air in and out of the motor. It's also got our Steeda tune. That's gonna allow us to run more advanced timing, right? Make more horsepower, increase the rev limiter, depending on what gear you're out in at the track. So a couple simple modifications underneath. Otherwise, it looks mostly stock. We have our Steeda radiator 
overflow tank, as well as our Steeda oil separator. But just simple things, nothing exotic. We want to make the car relatable and show you with the right mods underneath the hood, you can really get the most out of your Mustang. Keeping it simple in the rear, we got our Steeda stainless steel three inch cat back exhaust system and our Steeda functional race wing. Another thing we get a lot of questions about is our Steeda rear deck lid. Now, unfortunately, that is limited to serialized vehicles, so you would need to get yourself a Steeda Q500 or a Q850 to get one of these rear decklets. So one of the key differences with the performance pack is going to be the upgrade brakes and rotors. Not only are they larger, but they're going to offer more stopping power, which when you're at speed on the road course is something you want. But we didn't leave that alone. What we did was we went to our Steeda two-piece rotors and Hawk brake pads. Now, what is a two-piece rotor? Well, it is quite simply a two-piece rotor, but what we do is we're trying to remove unsprung weight. So in the center, you've got a lightweight aluminum center hat. What that's gonna do, like I said, reduce rotating mass and unsprung weight, which is effectively gonna make you get better steering input, better braking input, more responsiveness to the driver. They're also completely rebuildable, which means if you're out there and you go through a set of rotors on a track day, you don't have to replace the whole thing. You could simply unbolt it from the center hat and change that brake rotor. Now for the street setup, we've got our 20 by 10s, square, all four corners, with these MMR wheels wrapped with Nitto tires. For the track, we're gonna run our 18 inch Apex wheels, and those are gonna be 18 by 11s also at all four corners. So one of the things we get questioned about occasionally, and quite frankly, I don't think we've actually ever talked about it, is where did the Q500 come from? Well, 500 because, well, it's making 500 horsepower. Q was developed back when we were serializing cars from 1999 to 2004. Back then, you had your Acura Integra Type R, you had your Cobra R, and while that meant race, we wanted to make sure that when we came out with our models, we exceeded those factory offerings. So we came up with Q. Not only does it stand for quick, but it comes before R, meaning on race day, the Steedy Q package is going to outperform that R package. The other thing is, if you think about race, you think of stiff, harshness, not driving it on the street. Well, it's quite the opposite with these. These Q cars have great street manners, and they're going to provide you all the comfort and the performance that you desire. Now, the good stuff, right? What do we got done underneath the car that we, we keep talking about? So. This car was used to help develop our dual rate springs, right? That is a spring that rides really comfortably on the street, yet you can still go and track your car. So to start off with the dual rates, right? Uh, Steed adjustable shocks and struts, sway bars, obviously our stop the hop kit, things like that. But what we found was is we wanted less rear bar, right? We needed something to allow the back end to really bite and to grab when you're going and throwing that thing in corners. So that when you get on the accelerator pedal coming out of a corner, you're gonna get maximum traction, right? You don't want the back end to kick out and fishtail it. So that's where our competition rear sway bar comes in, right? It's gonna allow the back of the car to squat grip and not actually kick it out so this car was instrumental in proving that why because well you just can't take the 20 car out whenever you want and glenn vitale who was doing a lot of our driving and testing with this he would take it home on the weekends take it out and about and let's face it glenn he likes to drive his cars so when he's doing that he's able to test different things so we start off with one bar diameter and wall thickness and eventually moved on to something else that not only suited his needs, but suited the car's needs as well as far as from a performance standpoint. But that's how the car started, right? Now, it's actually on a set of our coilovers. 
kind of like all three of our 2024s. Um, not including the dark horse, we haven't done anything with that yet. But it's our coil over setup and adjustable ride height kit. Now, why do you need something like that? Well, typically speaking, coilovers are gonna be saved for drag racing and road racing. But I gotta give it to the team, especially Dario down south. He came up with some awesome spring rates to run on the street that have really good street manners, yet they still perform really good at the track. So what he did was come up with those spring rates, we put it in a package and put it on this car. And the reason we call it a wolf in sheep's clothing is it runs pretty similar lap times to the number 20 car. It's not gutted, right? It doesn't have a roll cage, but it's got a stock motor. There's a stock Gen 3 with a steed of cold air intake and tune with some long tube headers, right? But it absolutely performs. It's gonna grip every time you ask for it. And it just, it never lets you down. That, and it's race red, right? You know I love race red. It stands out, it looks good, but some of the best quotes are from Glenn where he would take this to a track event down there at PBIR and Palm Beach and the amount of people that would come up to him and ask him, so is that supercharged? What do you have done? And he pops the hood just like I popped the hood and you're expecting to see more, some fancy components, but truth be told, no. When you have a good foundation, and that's why we kind of joked at the beginning of the video, you can add anything you want to the outside of the cars, from stickers to spoilers to wheels, but anybody can do that. What did you do to make the car different? What suspension components did you add? What is the foundation that you're working with to give yourself a platform that's going to allow you to add boost or go to the track or the drag strip? You know, we plan going out this week, later on this week with the Dark Horse to try to show you the difference between what it does stock and what it does with our simple start or stop the hop kit. So we're looking for good results, but like I said, anybody can throw wheels, stickers, spoilers on a car, but what did you do to make it different? What did you do to make it outperform all those other Mustangs? That's the seat of difference. It's why we say speed matters, and it's why more than a couple people at the shop absolutely have fallen in love with this 2018 that we call Wolves and Sheep's Clothing. So one of the things I did mention is we didn't really change the weight, no weight reduction. Stock hood, stock deck lid, no carbon fiber. In fact, the only weight reduction we've done to the car is our Steeter Road Race K-member. Why? Well, that's 25 to 30 pounds off the front of the car. That's where you need to get rid of it. And we've got better suspension geometry built into it. We've got our G-Track brace. And quite honestly, it makes a big difference on these cars when you're going around the racetrack. But it's our road race street version. So it's very streetable, no added NVH, no added noise. It's a really, really stout unit that performs exceptionally well. Well, that kind of wraps up a little bit about our Steeda Q500 2018 HPDE car that we like to call Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Like we mentioned, with some carefully selected parts, we've gone ahead and done the homework for you. You could really transfer your Mustang into a great track car, but a very, very comfortable driver at the end of the day. Like I said, making race car parts is pretty simple. Everything solid, everything pretty stiff, but to make a car perform like this car does on the track, that you could still absolutely daily drive every day is really something special and shows you how far Ford has come with the Mustang. So if you're interested, this car is actually for sale. We've got four S650s right now in house and we've got to make room for them. So if you'd like to duplicate this car or maybe we can build one for you, reach out to our team at Steeda or Steeda Vehicles and we could recreate this or go ahead and check out the build sheet online that gives you a complete breakdown of all the components that we put on this car to absolutely transform it. So if you liked the video, hit like, subscribe to our channel. Remember the most important thing at the end of the day, Steeda, where speed matters. <laughs>